Justin Sabit and his friends wake up early in the morning before the sun becomes crouching, collect their hoes and head off to the farmland to do their farming. They have a few hours to cultivate. They may look like ordinary farmers, but they are not. They are prisoners at Jebel Osman Prison in Western Equatoria, South Sudan. <laughs> Food shortage is one of the main challenges facing the prisons in South Sudan. The farming and gardening project is aimed at assisting the prison to produce food for its inmates. Jebel Osman's agricultural project is considered a successful endeavor in prison system in South Sudan. Alex Osman, officer in charge of the prison, said produce from the farm was helping the prison in providing food for inmates. Our sex here is to produce more food to feed this, uh, our inmates here in the prison. This is what we are dealing with it. And also all the food we done here is for the inmates to feed them. This is what is helping us here. United Nations Mission in South Sudan, UNMIS, Correction Advisor Charles Owele, is helping the prison system to develop agricultural projects which would be useful in averting crisis as well as enhancing the skills of both prisoners and prison officers. Inmates, prisoners are expected to acquire skills in agricultural activities so that by the time they leave the prison, they will go out and as well engage in farming. And this will enable them to change from their criminal way of life to be able to lead a responsible, to be able to live, live as a responsible, free and responsible citizens. With his newly acquired knowledge on farming, Justin cannot wait to be released from the prison. He has dreams and high hopes of becoming a farmer. So now, if I've been, if I've been released from this place, from the prison, going back, so I will be continue farming because I will get for me some land because I will, to dig to help my, my family. The UN mission in South Sudan is helping South Sudan Prison Service in stepping up efforts to establish its own agricultural farm and industries as a means of rehabilitating prisoners in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Rezanan Zenega, Deputy Special Representative of Secretary General, said during a correction medal parade on 30th April 2013 in Juba that UNMIS would support prisons in the country with sustainable agricultural project that would generate food for every prisoner. This year we will be supporting the delivery of a sustainable agricultural project that will generate food for every prison in the country. This is an ambitious but essential task which will require partnership with all concerned and with several agencies. Mr. Zenega added that UNMIS would assist in any way it could within its mandate to build up the capacity of the prison service and assist it in obtaining donor funding. UNMIS has 95 prison officers representing 12 different countries located in 10 states and 17 county support bases assisting the prison service in South Sudan.